Good morning. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing just fine. Are you ready for another training session? Training session for the LW500 Latch Bar Exercise System. Our system is a attachment system for resistance bands and also straps. We have components here. I'll review the components here. We have components that are mounted on the wall, which are from these components. They are the same thing. So let's get started. Here we have a sit on latch bar. It's independent. It cannot or should not be mounted, should I say. That's not what I recommend, but anyone could drill holes and mount it if they so desire. This one here, deluxe flat latch bar. Basic flat latch bar. Single flat latch bar. Elevators for the round bars to do push ups. Single round latch bar. Basic round latch bar. Deluxe round latch bar. Did you get the theme? You have the duplicates over here for the round, for the flat. 44 inch squat, press bar, curl bar, what have you. These items mounted on the wall, they are the same thing. This is a basic latch bar. If you take a look, basic, of course, I have it all decorated up because that's the way I wanted to present it to you so that you could see what you could also do to yours. Deluxe latch bar. This is a deluxe latch bar. The deluxe latch bar has five latches so that you have an opportunity to add and subtract as you desire. We do not have the single latch bar mounted, but but it can also be mounted. So that is the product line and the website is www.lw500products.net. And you can also log on to and subscribe to YouTube and you would be able to see all of the demonstrations, all of the workouts. You could work out with me You would see how the product is used on all the demonstrations, which you will witness very shortly because I am going to do my normal demonstration. So without further ado, let me get my gloves on and let us get started. So today we're gonna start off just slightly different so that we can get warmed up rather quickly. And <clears throat> what I mean by that is we're going to start off with resistance, resistive jogging so that we can get warmed up rather quickly. So we'll take one band and we'll drop it over us, down to our waist, and the other one we'll have at our chest level. Okay. Remember to move away from the wall slightly so that you can have tension on your resistance bands. Lean forward, do a time check so that you know when to start, and stop. So let's get moving. Start the day off with a nice, brisk jog. A resistant jog in your own home. How about that? In your own privacy, safe. That's what you want to accomplish.
as the younger generation say, that's what's up. <laughs> that's right, that is what's up. See, we're coming around a minute already. We're starting to feel it. Up and down our legs. Up and down the back. My calves, they're feeling it. Breathe in the air, get some good air. Make sure you have enough resistance. And be careful when you get ready to stop so that it doesn't pull you back against the wall, make you fall. We're coming around the mountain. We just wanna do two minutes. Of course, you could do a lot more if you wanted to. All right, now remember to move backwards when you're stopping. down crunches. Using the deluxe round bar, which is attached to the deluxe flat bar via resistance bands and carabiners. That was a good wake up there. How about that? Whew. We just went through a full body exercise just that quick. We started off with a resistant jog and we worked over our legs in one attempt. We came from there, we came to the bench, we worked directly on our abs with some pull downs and some side, side crunches. We also worked on our arms at the same time by doing pull-ins. So that worked on our shoulders and back muscles. So 
So we're off to a very good start. So we just want to elongate our muscles a bit. We want to use not my piece of equipment, but just the piece of equipment that I like to use. The roller, the ab roller. We need to stretch it out because we haven't done it in a few days. So we stretched it out and we held it. So now we'll just work it over a bit. cracks just now, a lot of cracks. Now we have, once again, we're using the same product. Deluxe round, deluxe flat. If you stand in the center, you can either take a wide grip or you can take an inside grip. You can pull it to the maximum that you can pull it to and you can do squats. And as you're doing the squat, you can pull it up a little higher. That impacted my arms, my shoulders, my back, and my legs. With just that one exercise, you, you're involving so many muscle groups all at the same time. You're taking advantage of the leverage that you will be able to apply using the latch bar attachment system. Without the latch bar attachment system, you would not be able to exert anywhere near the type of force and the comfort that you are able to apply using the latch bar system. Turn it over and strengthen those wrists. You can take a wider stance with your hands on the outside also. Repeat the same exercise except for the squat because now the bands are in front of your knees. So it's not as easy to squat. That's why you have to be in the middle of the latch bar. You really want to take advantage of using the resistance bands Attachment so that you can take advantage of your workout that you're receiving using resistance bands. Now, once again, this is a, a similar setup using the basic latch bar, upper and lower. And with this, you can basically do the same thing. So it's demonstrated to show that you don't need necessarily the deluxe to do practically the same thing that you can do on the basic. The basic comes with a kit if you so desire. It also comes individually so that you can purchase components 
separately from the website. The website is www.lw500products.net. You don't need very much space just to use this. about using the hand grips for expansions. You put yourself a flat resistance band in between, attach it, using a carabiner on one side and just loop it through on the other side. You can do the same thing, of course, with the tubular resistance bands. Close behind your head, any kind of way you want to do it. Move those rotator cuffs. Keep some tension on those rotator cuffs. All right. Same kind of setup using tubular resistance bands. Using the 44 inch squat press. Of course, you can also use this bar for curls. The amount of resistance is up to you. So you pick your own poison. However amount you want to put on resistance bands, of course, they, they call it stacking resistance bands. You're adding resistance to your product when you put more resistance on there, but that effort is called stacking. So. You can stack whatever you want to put on there. Remember, you're going to have to work with it. So make sure you don't overdo it. Don't injure yourself. And only work up to your level. Don't try and work up to someone else's level. If you're working out with someone. It's okay to use someone to push you to do work, but keep in mind, if you're not physically fit and if you haven't been working out, make sure you get back into it very slowly, gradually. Don't rush it. It's nothing to rush for. So you can do squats in the front like this, if you so desire, or you can lift it over your head and you can rest it on your shoulders and you can do squats like this too. So, I've shown you squats that you can do with this system, uh, with the 44 inch squat bar. And I've also shown you what type of squats you can do with the smaller system using the deluxe round lash bar. As we pulled it up, remember? We pulled it up and we dipped like that, that's also a very, very effective squat. <laughs> Over here we have a basic, basic lash bar attached to a two by 10. Using this, we're able to do, we can do a pull we can certainly do a pull, and you can more or less do a, a semi-squat with one leg, or you can use a set like this, and you can do squats 
like that also. Using this, the way we are going to use it is a side crunch. The side crunch is for the opposite side that you are holding it on. And as I'm holding this at the moment, this side over here is very tight. This side is loose. This side is very tight though. So we'll take it and we'll lean to that side so that we can work those side muscles of your abdomen. Then we'll change it to the other side. We don't want to make one side more jealous or have more strength than the other. So you want to keep it balanced and try and treat each side the same. That's right. Just feels great. Nice and early in the morning today. And working out in the morning gets your day started. I love it. But there are times we have to work out in the afternoon also. So as long as you keep on track, there's no reason why you can't stay up on your exercise whether it's in the morning or in the afternoon. There are often times that I do my demos in the afternoon also, because there are things that you have to do during the daytime. And so you can't just always, you know, work out. You have to fit your workout in and make sure that you fit it in. So now we're gonna do push-ups. I'm sure that you realize that. We have a set of elevators and we have the deluxe latch bar and we're gonna do some push-ups. That's it. Nothing attached, just place the ground on top, right in the middle of the elevator. We have the hand grips. We have a tubular resistance band on this one. And we have a flat resistance band on this one. Of course, this is another effective squat. If you could actually coordinate yourself, you could do a squat like that too, but you could also do pulls, rotating pulls, side to side like this. <laughs> this will once again work over <laughs> It'll work over these stubborn part parts that we have right here. So you want to try and get an exercise like this going too, because you can even do this even on the, the deluxe flat bar. You can do the same thing. If you don't want to use your feet, and if you want to add a lot more resistance. Use the latch bar with a set of grips. But if you're only gonna do it relatively light, like we just did, it's okay to use your feet. Trust me though, in my instep, I can feel the discomfort from pulling. So I know it's advertised that you don't need all this attachment apparatus and you don't at all times. I'm not suggesting that you do. It all depends on the exercise that you're trying to do though. So keep in mind, if you're working on bands that are relatively light, you must keep gloves on your hands, it makes sense. 
And for example, right now, I have it wrapped around the palm of my hand and I would be able to do as if I'm getting ready to hit a baseball. I would be able to speed my motion up, okay? By doing, by doing exercise like this. Or if I was throwing a punch, same thing. And you're using your torso, you're twisting your torso so that you're strengthening that muscle and you're getting your back muscles to, to get engaged so that they are strengthening up around your vertebrae. Then after you've done that to benefit your left hand, turn yourself around. And you want to do it to benefit your right hand. Make sure you're firmly on the floor. I'm about to pull myself down over here. Yeah, I have a mats that move around. When you pull it out there, hold it. Hold it there for a second or two. Get a nice little torque. And keep resistance on your band at all times. Don't let them flop and make noise like I was doing just now. Always try and maintain resistance on your bands. Now, of course, with this attachment as it is, we can do pulls like this so that we are attacking the muscles on the back of our arms and our lats. You can go outward like that. And you're still attacking the same muscles, the same muscle categories. Turn yourself around. And, and do like a, doing a punch motion. Okay, you get my point. Sidebars, you don't have to be sitting down to always use your sidebar. You can use your sidebar as you're standing up. Make sure you have a firm enough stand. Even the round deluxe bar. You don't only have you have to do crunches using it. You can do standing up pull downs. And you feel it all in your stomach where you should and all in your arms and your shoulders and stuff. And it feels just wonderful.
That's right. You're getting a good one in today. Should have taken my little break. I needed some water to drink. My mouth is rather dry. Water is good stuff. How about another round? You ready for another round? Uh, we just want to make sure you you understand that we're just, just not we're not playing here. This is serious business. Trying to get in shape. So how's, how, how about some more of those crunches? Pull down crunch. You know uh, how much I love to do the abs. The abs is the area that we have to target. We have to target that area because we abuse it all day long. That's right. We abuse our abs sometimes to the degree to the degree of no return. So think about it. We start off early in the morning and we start pouring stuff into our stomach. What we put in is going to show on the outside, especially if you don't try and burn those calories up. And I know a lot of times you think, well, I go to work every day and I work on a job, you know, I'm moving stuff around. Whether you're male or female, you figure that contributes to exercise only to a minute degree. The reason being is because for the most part, they're not asking you to exert yourself to the point that you're out of breath or you're sweating. But that all depends on the type of work that you do. Trust me, I understand. If you are unloading containers or something to that sort, stacking pallets, moving appliances, you are exerting yourself, I get that. But you're not doing it often enough, most of the time, to give you any value, to give you any return. So that's why you have to do these things so that you can get some return to get that heart rhythm up for an extended amount of time, maybe an hour, a day. Oh yeah. Then you'll start to see some results. Now I'm not suggesting that your job won't make you strong if you are lifting items. Because if you're doing work or if you're digging holes Manual labor, uh, you can get in shape, very good shape. But you still need to apply or add some cardio later. And remember, most of the time you don't do that when you're much older. When you're much older, you do a much more relaxed type of work most of the time. That's when Joe Pounds comes around. He's always around. And in our older life, that's when we have to start taking all kinds of medications. Those medications are because we don't work out anymore. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's true.
We've taken the easy way out. Now we're going for walks. Walks just don't cut it. I'm here to tell you. Unless you're walking brisk, if you walk very briskly, then yes. It will have a very huge impact. But you have to build up stamina in order to do that. So that's why you need to build your muscles up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no getting around it. no getting around it. Exercise is a requirement. One way or another. right so don't wait until the doctor tells you that you need to exercise you can see for yourself don't wait until the doctor tells you that you have high blood pressure either for the most part if you've exercised if you apply cardio you can keep your blood pressure down to a, de to a degree you can also keep your cholesterol down so those are very key factors in trying to reduce the dangers of either one, because both of them are dangerous. If you're borderline diabetic, same thing, watch what you eat. We all need to watch what we eat regardless. Diabetic, high blood pressure, our diet contributes to our health as well. Limit the amount of fast food that you eat. I'm not telling you don't eat it, don't eat it at all, but limit. There are times we all need shortcuts. And if you can't cook, learn how to cook. So all kinds of recipes. I'm sure you can read. Recipes are easy to follow. Have a little patience. Don't walk away from the stove. You know, don't forget that you're cooking. You burn your house down. Then once you get used to something, you're used to it.
Yep, do, do one set, then follow up. Repeat that set, whatever it is that you did. Those of you that might think that this is a joke, I've had some responses of such. You have open invitation. Got my telephone number. You can come on by. And we'll see if it's a real joke. I'll see if you can do any of these exercises. How about that? My telephone number is on my website. My address is also. I'll put you on camera so we can see and let the world see how funny things are. How about that? And my supporters, where are my supporters? You know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to start an ent entrepreneur business here. What are we doing? This is products like you never saw before. Maybe you don't want to purchase it, but show some more support. Maybe it's not for you. It don't have to be for you. And I'm all right with that. Where are the likes? Where are the comments? This is what I'm asking for. You know? I see that all of you take a look at the product. You probably can't help it. Because I'm blasting it out there all the time. I know you have to see it. And if you're a friend of mine, I know it shows up on your page. That's right. So I'm only asking for you to show some support. Okay? Okay, this is the third type setup, third setup like this. We had the basic, we had the other deluxe with the round tubular bands, and this is, these are our flat, flat bands. And it's basically the same exercise. Now this one is a little bit um, easier to do, so you might want to do more, or you might want to add just a little bit more resistance, or you can use it as it is. Like I said, do more reps. It's all the same thing. But set it up so that you can work out with it. You might even want to use it for curls. You could do that too. Always remember, it's your choice. You're the one that's setting it up. You're the one that's going to use it. So it's your choice. However you want to use it. The level of resistance, it's up to you. If you want to make it more difficult, go ahead and do so. Add more resistance.
take these day, these morning, early, early morning workouts because once you finish, you finish with this workout and the rest of your day is all gravy. Whatever you do is just going to add to the exercise that you already completed. And am I tired? Yes. Am I wore out? No, I'm not wore out, but I'm getting tired. And you're supposed to get tired when you work out. If you don't get tired, you didn't do anything. Remember, we are using the LW500 latch bar exercise system. Our system is a resistance band attachment system where you can use tubular, flat, what have you type of resistance bands. Also, you can use straps whether you're using straps to do sit-ups, crunches, ankle straps, thigh straps, all those straps, all those systems work with the attachment system, including chains. I'm sorry, I almost left the chains out. We got chains too. That will also work because you can do isometrics with chains you can do isometrics with resistance bands. Whatever you, you, you're using, they will work. So, our product is available at www.lw500products.net. Also available on Facebook and Instagram shops. Log on, view my videos, give me some likes. Give me some comments, please. It's not gonna kill you. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Anyway, I hope you appreciated my workout for the, for the day. Hope to see you again either later or tomorrow. As usual, have a great day. Thank you very much.